Now, working from home sounded like it was going to be a great idea to start with, didn't it? But it turns out that uh, no one's home is geared up for maximum productivity. So we wanted to give you some tips on how to increase your productivity while working from home. And we decided to draft in the best person for the job. It's only Kate Russell. Hello, mate. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. Thank you. Absolutely living in chaos. My <laughs> living room looks like a studio. You can hear the cat yowling in I the I can hear the cat. It I sounds like a cat anyway. I expected that to happen, yes. Yes, it is a cat. He is here um, to make my life more difficult, um, but also a lot more cuddly. And that is the problem, isn't it? That uh, if we're trying to be professional uh, <laughs> while we're on these video meetings, <laughs> yeah. we're interrupted by all sorts of things. What I think is amazing is the rise of Zoom in the last few weeks. Um, what is also worrying though is the rise of unwelcome Zoom visitors in meetings because if you're giving out a meeting number that people can join, if anyone else gets hold of that number, they can join even if they haven't technically been invited. Absolutely, but there's a simple way to protect yourself. First of all, you should password protect and encrypt your meetings but also um, if you open the advanced settings when you schedule a meeting you can tick the box that says that you want to enable the waiting room and what happens then is when somebody dials in they get put in a waiting room before you as the host give them permission to come into the main room first. Brilliant that's why we got Kate you see she will elevate you to zoom ninja in 20 seconds. And there are a couple of other great tips you should know about zoom. The software can handle up to 100 participants at a time, which sounds quite horrific to me, but I've been enjoying using the custom backgrounds. It adds a bit of colour to the meetings and handy if you don't want people that you're virtually meeting to see your home. And the touch up appearance feature adds a softening and beautifying filter to your camera feed. It's not cheating. Unfortunately, this increased popularity has attracted hackers too. In the past few weeks, security researchers have noticed a spike in the number of websites registered, including the word Zoom, and many could be spoof sites. Just taking extra care typing in the web address is important for any site. I'm a huge list person, and Todoist is what every ring-bound pad wants to be when it grows up. This digital to-do list lets you plan ahead, setting tasks, subtasks, deadlines and priorities. The free version can be used by up to five people on simple lists for up to 80 projects. In Premium, you can work in groups of 25 across 300 projects, and you can add reminders, comments and upload files. Another great way to improve productivity is to understand just where your time is going. Time tracking app Toggle simply records the time spent on various tasks. Recorded hours can be saved by project and client for teams of up to five people in the free version. The paid option lets you do the same with larger teams, also including features like setting reminders and rules for billable time, as well as project and team management tools. I want to finish by sharing a tweet that Spencer retweeted recently. Because despite how hard we try, it's worth remembering this. Regardless of personal circumstances, it is unrealistic to expect yourself to be as productive as normal during a global pandemic. Read it, repeat it, forgive yourself. Take care, everybody.